Here's an update on tractor hacking. It's legal in the U.S. Why? Well, it's because of the Library of Congress. The Library of Congress dictates how copyright law is enforced. They found that there is no economic damage to vehicle manufacturers when owners or repair facilities remove DRM for the purpose of affecting repairs on a vehicle. The purpose of DRM is to prevent unlawful use or sale of software. The firmware on an ECM has no secondary market. 95% of the population won't buy a vehicle that isn't fully functional, so they already have the factory installed firmware. The other 5% that do buy non-running vehicles generally have no interest in making any of it work again, so they're not buying stolen firmware. The removal of DRM protection does not impede the manufacturer's ability to sell their firmware that comes with the vehicles. So hacking and removing the repair lockout from the ECM of a John Deere tractor is perfectly legal in the US, as long as it is for the sole purpose of repair. An exemption was made for tractors and farm equipment in 2015. Just recently the same rule now applies to cars. Exemptions have also been made for smartphones, home appliances, other electronic devices, some types of software and games. There are caveats to some of those exemptions. So consult a copyright lawyer, or at least do a lot more Googling before you do anything. Repair shops can also bypass any software that limits repair. For vehicles, it's all legal as long as they were lawfully acquired, and the device or equipment is returned to factory intended function. The Library of Congress recognizes the need for consumers to know of any dangers and personal risks of the hardware and software they use. DRM can also be removed by anyone who is researching security threats. The people who go through software to see if there's a way for bad guys to take control of your toaster and steal your bank account password. I'm not mocking security research. I'm just saying I don't need an internet connected bread maker. Especially if it means I have less privacy. Being able to remove DRM without the threat of jail time should make it easier for the good guys to find problems before the bad guys do. That means manufacturers will be more likely to fix problems rather than trying to throw an innocent person in jail and try to hide the fact that there is any risk to its consumers, which has been a common thing for some companies to try in the past. It should be easier to repair the things you own, provided you know how to get around the DRM. It is still illegal to create and sell software to remove a company's protection software, and there is no limit to how beefy and aggressive a company can make its DRM. If things keep going like they are, I wouldn't be surprised to see the rise of alternative firmware. People would buy hardware that a company locks down with draconian DRM, then the customers flash the gadget with aftermarket firmware without the DRM, and maybe some added extra features. Some replacement firmware being sold, and some as freeware. And of course, freeware could potentially have malware in it. Of course. While it's good news that copyright is harder for companies to abuse, the right to repair is still not completely safe. It's just a matter of time before companies try a new way to extort its customers into using official repair services. Thanks for watching, and good luck. To subscribe, click the channel icon on the top left. Top right is the previous video, and below that is a random suggestion from YouTube. Thanks again.